Hello YouTube fans, here again and this is an interesting one I thought about doing this for some bit now and it's to do with censorship the PFC censorship, censorship and films they've censored over the years films you probably know now and films we didn't know back in the golden days and I thought it'd be pretty fun to talk about films that are wonderful censorship the BFC and other movies decided to cut and censor and cut our fun. Cut our fun. So why not about to do have a ball? Have some fun. So the one we all remember would be Robotop. We all remember the tacit theatrical Robotop. But over the years we never knew that there was a director's cut of Robotop. That's right, there was a director's cut. I do this now everybody knows Mr. Just Director's Cut. I never even knew it myself until once I saw it. Um, I remember like I saw a snide copy of Robotop, right? On the DVD, right? A snide copy of one. And I thought, oh, Robotop, did not see that for ages. And I was surprised. I was surprised how fine it was, how bloodthirsty it was. And it was. It definitely was a lot more fine than the theatrical one. Now, Tanty Tanty, Paul Olden's Robotop is a fine film to begin with, but this was a hell of a lot more fire. Let's get to what I mean. Remember the scene where the Ed 209 goes loopy loo, right? And it shoots his poor fucker to death. Well, people may or may not know this, on the director's one, the uncut one, there was a lot more where the Ed 209 passes the fella on the wall. Shoots him a lot more, shoots all his legs in, shoots more of his ducks when he's on the table, licking him fucking to his poor fucking into moss. Cut in the theatrical. You can have to look through the diet, just cut the scene it. The scene with Peter where he gets shot up is Murphy. We know him to see me gets shot in the hand and he goes nin 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 and shoots his hand. If you thought that was juicesome on the uncut one, there was actually a lot more where Peter Weber's got his hand, he's the trucks of his hand, there's blood chipping everywhere. There's a lot more of him getting shot up. There's a bit where his arm gets shot off. Which if you ever remember the theatrical one, people thought well, it looked a bit funny, he's getting shot because he, half his arm is missing. That was the reason why. That was cut down originally. You can now see it all totally uncut on the diet as well. And Robotop 2 also had its say, so there's a scene where, it's supposed to be a funny scene where Chain knocks this woman out of the car. This is what people never knew, and the director's cut, there's actually a scene where the Chain villain shoots the woman and then falls her out of the car. There's a scene where Robotop beats up a dirty cop, but you you see that in the theatrical one, but it's a lot more where and Robotop really laying into him, he's really beating him a lot more, he cuts the of his face up, he really left us his die a lot more. There's a scene where Kane kills a woman, it was his love of his life, for the uncut one, there's a lot more where he snaps her neck a lot more, and then trotters her over as he's dead. There's a scene where Dai gets tortured, and there's a bit where they cut his chest right open a lot more. And then this woman sort of says it in the film, you're supposed to stare at him, and then the villain says, does he look stared? That was a lot more graphic. I told to see again in Robotop, the scene where the main villain's fighting Robotop, and Robotop stabs him in the neck. There's a lot more of blood stretching from the neck, and you see him choking a lot more on his blood. So then there was a lot of cut scenes. Another one was the Tacit of Paul and Olden, believe it or not, would have been um, the Tacit, the Dud one, Toka Retar. Well, you remember the scene where there's that little, little prostitute and she stabs the fella and he goes, ah! Well, there's actually a scene in that where she stabbed him down there and slits him right through his ducks. A dust, you wonderful bird of censorship, you fucking other assholes. Cut it. The compete and utter being the BFC cut that scene. So you don't actually see it. You've got the bit where the die going, ah. But you always notice it's a bit where the blood is when we ducks, it goes all the way there. That was why. And this one, which sad to say is never going to see the day of life. And I remember saying this before. Night Hawks. Tacit film with Sylvester Sarone, Woodward Hour, May Rest. Well, the scene at the end, right, the scene where Woodward Hour is about to 
kill what he thinks is a woman and Sylvester Stallone does his test up as a woman and he gets it done and he shoots Wood and Hour and then he's all bloody, he's all messy and then he shoots him again I remember that and then Wood and Hour falls to his death but people always want to know why the fuck was Wood and Hour looking a fucking bloody mess there's a reason for that your BFC at the time saw it, felt it was too fine and went Sylvester Stallone admitted this on a chalk pole down the reason and started to say this will never ever see the day of light but there was a scene where with the scene I just said with now I was about to stab but there was a lot more where Sylvester Stallone shoots him shoots him again shoots him a third time shoots him a fourth fucking time that's the bit then with now was all bloody his messy he's about to go for him and he shoots him again and then he falls to his death so if people always wondering why the fuck does Woods and Owl look a bloody mess? That was your reason, because your wonderful board of censorship, your BFC, all those fuckers decided to have a field take at the ending of Night Hawks. It's always been the first time. There's another film by Sylvester Stallone. That being Troll Bro. Your wonderful BFC cut down a hell of a lot more violence in the film Troll Bro than what in you the audience was going to see so apparently there was going to be a lot more blood there's going to be a lot more door the scene where the woman gets killed by these maniacs there's going to be a scene where she gets beheaded was cut from the film the scene where these little boys pulse as soon as you can find this believe it or not on a tv version where a little boy pulses what he doesn't know and his body parts in a cop a cop place you know the police station Sad that was cut, Tim. There was a lot more fire, there was a lot more blood, there was a lot more door, there was a lot more fire in the film Troll Block. But you're bored of censorship. Cut it. Didn't want people to see it. Which is a damn shame, but I felt that was giving it more of an impact in the film Troll Block. So it's not been the first time you BFC of Tim. Even films, believe it or not, were very old films, tacit films. This one for you may or may not know. The very first James Bond film, Doctor No, was actually going to be a lot more fire. There was going to be a scene where, if you remember the scene where Sean Connery as Bond says, you've had your six and he shoots this fella. And then you see him on the phone and he shoots him again for good luck and he dies. Well, originally, the film Doctor No, that was going to be a lot more fire. In fact, he shot him two, three times. He's on the phone, towing in agony and dying. And Connery, Sean Connery, Shoots him again, and that's when he dies. And he does that. There's a scene where Doctor No says to the scene of his answers, I saw the dads are going to amuse her, which was still that time was a bit thingy, so they dubbed it where I'm sure she can amuse the tards so or some line like that would be used. There was a bit where Connor is fighting the, the dad, I doubt it's cyanide, with a lot more where he needs him and really lays into him a lot more in the film. But again, your BFC dad took the rating down to a mild rating. So some of those scenes would never see the day of light. It's the same. I don't I've heard a lot of rumours about it, but whether it was true, whether it's bullshit or that's a different story. But do you know license to kill, another Bond film, had a lot of fire scenes Tim down originally. There was a scene where we all know the the Bond girl gets ripped. There was a scene where um if you thought the the scene to be feel it's light it was nasty and the arm um, uncut one it was a lot more graphic. So again there was a lot more violence what originally was Tim Down. There was a lot of violence Tim Down in the Tacit Bond film. Licensed to kill. It's now happy to say you can see in its tap uncut. So you put the censors, so the is they've caught, they've censored, they've cut a lot of fucking things that we never even knew. It's like um we all know the classic Bruce Lee films. The famous Nun Truckers was cut out of most of Bruce Lee films. There was also cut in a lot of other films. The famous weapon blah 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 the Nun Truckers. Which makes me want to twat the fucking board of censorship. So under this films have lightened up, we've managed now to see a lot of films uncut. There's some films Sadly to say, we'll never ever, we'll never have to see the looks in this concept, this concept to see in its trap, uncut. We never will. And it's the same. 
you could buy it or probably you know you want to do it the legal way the legal way you know go on amazon if you've got a blu-ray or a dvd player what can do ntsc you probably have to look to see in those films i'm not gonna say what films uncut because you won't in this country it will always be cut to shit it's the only way you have to look to just see in those films but it's the same it's the same as you pull the sense of shit and censorship but yeah it's surprising how many films was cut to pieces originally and still today are cut to shit i just thought it'd be interesting to let people know that bit of tip but into them be smart be safe see you later